Bombardier Incorporated faces whopping duties of almost 300 percent to export its Xeris commercial jet into the American market after the U.S. Department of Commerce tacked on another 80 percent of preliminary anti-dumping duties Friday. The decision adds 79.82 percent to 219.63 percent in preliminary countervailing tariffs once deliveries to Delta Airlines begin next year. The United States is committed to free, fair and reciprocal trade with Canada, but this is not our idea of a properly functioning trading relationship, stated Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross. We will continue to verify the accuracy of this decision, while do everything in our power, to stand up for American companies and their workers. The Montreal-based transportation manufacturer TSXBBD.B didn't immediately respond to the latest duty announcement, but last week said it was confident that the absurd and unfounded tariffs will be reversed in final decisions in the coming months. It says Boeing can't justify its claim of being harmed since it doesn't make a plane the size of the CS-100. Boeing revised its request for anti-dumping duties to 143 percent from around 80 percent because of Bombardier's refusal to provide certain information to the Commerce Department. Related stories Boeing draws first blood as U.S. Commerce Department hits Bombardier hard Bombardier won't be shocked by another hike series duty next week Canadian industries concerned about knock-in effects of Bombardier tariffs countervailing duties target what the U.S. considers unfair subsidies while anti-dumping tariffs go after the alleged selling of imported products below market value. The U.S. aerospace giant petitioned to the government in April after its smaller rival secured a deal for up to 125 of its CS-100s with Delta in 2016. The firm order for 75 aircraft had a list price of U.S. $5.6 billion, although large orders typically secure large discounts. The department's preliminary countervailing duty findings agreed with Boeing that Bombardier benefited from improper government subsidies, giving it an unfair advantage when selling its Xeris 100 to 150 seat jets south of the border. Bombardier has repeatedly stressed that Americans will be hurt by the tariffs because more than half the content on the Xeris is sourced by U.S. suppliers, including Pratt Whitney engines. The program is expected to generate more than U.S. $30 billion in business over its life and support more than 22,700 American jobs in 19 states. Bombardier is hoping the high duties won't stand when the Department of Commerce announces its final ruling in December. The key decision likely won't come, however, until the U.S. International Trade Commission decides whether the Bombardier Delta deal actually hurt Boeing's business a decision that's not expected until early February. A protracted battle could then ensue if either side appeals the case to the U.S. Court of International Trade, brings it before NAFTA dispute bodies, or even take the matter to the World Trade Organization. Boeing's complaint has prompted a heavy political reaction from the Canadian government and British Prime Minister Theresa May, who fears job losses at Bombardier's Wing Assembly facility in Northern Ireland. Canada has threatened to cancel the planned purchase of 18 Super Hornets to temporarily augment Canada's aging fleet of CF-18s. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and May are appealing directly to U.S. President Donald Trump.